Statistics 1, practice paper 2, question number 4. An adult class has 12 students with a mean age of 29.4 years and a standard deviation of 6.8 years. A student aged, aged exactly 40 years joins the class. I've just put new student age 40. Calculate the mean and standard deviation of the 13 students now in the class. Right. Where can we start with this question? Maybe we should write down the formula for standard deviation. And that might just give us a few clues of how to start. Again, you're going to find several variations of this. You could get standard deviation squared equals, or the standard deviation equals the square root of. Or you could have variance equals, as long as you know that variance is standard deviation squared. So this is one of the possible variations that you could see. Maybe on your formula sheet, or if it isn't, you've got to learn it. So that is one variation of standard deviation. So to work out standard deviation we need to know the mean and what they add up to, the squares add up to. I don't know if that really helps me much because I've got to do this for the new group of 13. So I think what we better do is think about the old group of 12 and see what we can work out. The mean needs a total. So we've got the mean and we've got 12 students. We haven't got the total. So let's do that first. Total original 12 students. Now do remember you must write some words down now and again to explain to the examiner your train of thought rather than just bunging numbers down and expect the examiner to understand what your numbers represent. There were 12 students to start with, therefore 12 multiplied by 29.4 would work out the total of the original students. Now, we need the mean, the new mean. So therefore, the total of new 13 students will be the total which we've just written down there but not yet worked out of the original 12 plus the new student so this gives me the total of the new 13 students so therefore I can work out the new mean new mean I don't think I need right off 13 students which is x bar, is what this works out to be. Maybe I should have worked that out. If you work that out on the calculator, you get 392.8. So the new mean is 392.8 divided by the now 13 students. So that comes to that. So that is the answer to the first part of the question, find the new mean. OK, so now I've got to find the new standard deviation. The new standard deviation using this, I've got the mean, so I can do that part. Somehow or other, that end is going to represent the 13, the new 13, so that's OK. Somehow or other, I've got to work out what all the individual 13 students squared, each of the 13, uh, each of the 13 students' ages squared added up comes to. How am I going to do that? Now sometimes when you answer a question it's a good idea to see what the examiner's told you to see if you've used all the pieces of information up that he's told you. Now it's not necessarily true that he gives you a piece of information you don't need but it's not very often that he does that. Usually if the examiner gives you some data 12, 29.4 
40, somewhere or other in the question you're going to use it. Very seldom will he bung something in that you don't need just to get your guess in. I haven't used this bit of information yet. So let's look at standard deviation for the original 12. But instead of working out the standard deviation, let's put that into there and see what that gives us. 4 original 12. Just telling me exactly what I'm doing. The standard deviation is 6.8. Um, I think I'll do standard deviation squared equals this and get rid of that square root sign. So I'll do that equals sigma x squared, which we don't know, over n, which is the 12, minus the original mean for the original 12 squared. How's that? So if I rearrange this, I can work out what sigma x squared equals. So what shall I do? I'll add that to both sides. And then multiply throughout my 12, so that will give me that. So if I do that on the calculator, I get 11510.5. So in other words, I've managed to work out what all 12 of the original ages, each of the individual ages squared added up comes to. So now I can work out the new add up all the x squareds because it would be, I'll write down 4, 13 students. Just making sure I'm explaining what I'm doing. So that's what the 12 added up to. If I now add this new chappy or chapess, 40 squared, that will give me the new sigma x squared, won't it? And that actually works out to 13101.51. So I can now work out the standard deviation for the 13. New standard deviation equals square root of the value I've just worked out for x squared, sigma x squared, divided by, we've now got 13 students, minus this squared, but in fact with a calculator you could go back and stick that in. So you get a full calculator value. So we'll put that in, and remember that's going to be squared. Press the suitable buttons and that will come to that to four significant figures. So there we have question four done. We better give some marks for that. So we'll give a mark for working out or showing how to work out the total of the original 12 and the total of the new 13. Mark for the working out of the original mean. Oh, sorry, the new mean. Mark for working out the new mean. A mark for working out what the old x squared's added up to. A mark for working out what the new x squared's added up to. A method mark for the new standard deviation on accuracy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think we need another mark there somewhere. Oh, I know, we'll give a method mark in there. Right, that's question number four done. If you'd like to see the rest of the paper that this question came from, then go to mathstutor.biz, www.mathstutor.biz, and look at statistics exam papers. This is statistics one, set one, paper two. So we've actually been doing this paper, and we've actually been doing this question number four here. So if you want to see the rest of this paper, and get your own copy so you can work through it then you need this DVD and to get that you need to go to my website www.massachusetts.biz hope to hear from you